Hey, you guys. So, I want to talk about um, a, a legend today. I want to talk about some legendary shit. So, first off, hats off to Little Kim. She was honored with proclamation to New York City. Um, June, Monday night, June 11th. Um, so, yeah, this video, I was watching it. And um, while I, I am happy for Kim, I want to bring up something um, Mano did, apparently. The rapper Mano was beside her. Um, and I've always liked Mano as an artist. You know what I'm saying? He's done some questionable shit in the past uh, that made me kind of turn me off to him. But this just t pretty much took the cake. You know what I'm saying? The whole time. Um, so she's, you know, giving the award, whatever. People are talking to her. You know, they're trying to take pictures. And there's cameras everywhere. So, you know what I'm saying? She can't react how she really wants to. But the whole time, he's just putting his arm around her, kind of play choking her. And you know what I'm saying? Just this arm around her, arm around her. She obviously is refusing his advances. You know what I'm saying? Like, this looks like sexual assault. You know what I'm saying? Right here, this page says, Mano made a hey, big head, text come to life. You know what I'm saying? So he looks thirsty this whole time. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I don't know if they were rumored to be together at one point, and maybe they were together, and maybe he wants to get back with her. I don't know what it is. That's what he comes off as. He looks like an obsessed ex. But, um... At any rate, um, yeah, he's, um, he was, he was, um, I guess he was trying to shoot his shot. I don't know. He whispered in her ear. At one point she whispered back and you could see that she said, don't touch me at one point. Like it was embarrassing. I don't know what he kept. I don't know if he's on drugs or what. It was very embarrassing. It's not a good look. Um, and it ruined her moment, you know what I'm saying? So if he is, quote-unquote, in love with her, if he was trying to shoot a shot, whatever the situation was, that wasn't the time to do it. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, shout-out to little Kim. But he, he, this is not the first time Maynard has run into conflict with me. I remember when he was on um, um, the Breakfast Club, and he was with... Um, Uncle Murder. He was with Uncle Murder. And this was back when Uncle Murder was trying to talk about K. Michelle's box stinks, her coochie stinks. Um, as if they've even been in the same room together. Like, as much as Uncle Murder is known in hip hop, she was at a bigger point as a star than him at that point. So I don't even know why he did that corny ass shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But Mano was with him on the interview because they had that mixtape. And he was kind of just like, he was kind of going along with the shit, really and truly. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't remember him saying anything too conflicting with the interview. Like, as far as um, hyping Uncle Murder up during it. But she was still in the interview. This is both y'all's interview. You know what I'm saying? So you allowed the shit to happen. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know. He Just the way he was handling Kim, the way he handled that situation... It seemed like he might have a problem with handling uh, women. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm reaching too far. But I know in this video, it's disturbing to watch Kim's interactions with him. So, give me just a second. So, hey, you guys. I'm back. I wanted to find out if that was the only award she won. So, here it says proclamation to New York City along with that she also accepted the New York City 12th Council District Arts and Music Award in the City of Powers or in the City's Power of Influence Award and here she responded with I'm just gonna say this use us little Kim said as he accepted the proclamation use us in the industry we have a voice and we want to represent our, our town our city I want to say thank you to Mayor Bill de Blasio and everyone on the council for coming and making this happen because it's nice to be recognized and it's nice when people, they recognize your worth and your talent. She also vowed to continue to support her community and complete charity work in the area. At the same time, we want to do anything we can do to help you guys and help everyone from our town, our city, and make it better. Whatever we can do, use us. I've done charity work for many years, and now with me coming back, I'm going to do charity work again, and I'm going to say I'm so happy and proud to be from Brooklyn. So, 
So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. It's nice to see her still, you know what I'm saying, pushing through, through and through all the, um, the negative press that she gets, you know what I'm saying? People always talking about bankruptcy and this, that, and the other. But it's nice to see some good shit happen for little Kim. You know what I'm saying? The storm that it was Nicki Minaj kind of came through and fucked up what she was about to fuck up in the game years ago. You know what I'm saying? But to see her get some recognition, that's very nice. You know what I'm saying? It's very nice. So I'm glad to see that. Um... Very glad to see that. So, yeah, at any rate, back to the video. Apparently, let's see. Here, give me just a second. I will be right back. I want to watch the full video. Okay, so, yeah, I just seen all parts of the video, if I'm not mistaken. Before I had just seen him um, just flirting with her and, you know, making her uncomfortable. But apparently he Kanye Taylor Swift the whole moment and ran up on the stage like before she could even stand up. And they said, yeah, and the crowd booed him. Um, me personally, my opinion, security should have taken his ass out. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to assume that he was on some drugs or something. You know what I'm saying? If you're really um, because if you're really with me here as my friend in my mind. If this is me, if you're really with me here as a friend and as support, to support me, you shouldn't run up on stage, you know what I'm saying? Granted, I'm glad that you sat here because he did say nice things about her. You know, he influenced her, one of her biggest influencers, da, 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 this, that, and the other. That's nice, but you can tell me that later in private or you can say that when somebody hands you a microphone because we're both famous here. Somebody's going to ask him some stuff too, I'm pretty sure. Um, he's going to get his chance to talk. But he kind of just Kanye Taylor Swift that whole moment. It was corny as fuck. I don't, that's not the main note I'm used to seeing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't know him that much. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've only watched a couple of interviews. I know a couple of his songs um, throughout the f past few years. But that just came off very corny. It was very corny. Um, and like I said earlier, with the disrespect in the industry that Little Kim has gotten, um, not even just from Nicki Minaj alone, but the fact that people chose Nicki's side over hers, you know what I'm saying? When she was just telling her truth and that closed a lot of doors for a little Kim, that whole situation with her, you know what I'm saying? Now she finally has, you know what I'm saying? And she's been having moments these last few years. Don't get me wrong. Lil' Kim is good. You know what I'm saying? They can put out rumors of bankruptcy and this, that, and the other. That child is, uh... But we're wearing Gucci and Chanel before y'all can even get y'all first handbag. So don't even, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is on the side of social media and rumors. But little Kim is good. She's got her, she she got her bag secured, okay? Um, she could not have existed in the game, been a veteran in this game. She's been in this game longer than she has not been. She was started rapping when she was 17. She is now 40-something, if I'm not mistaken. That is, that is, is, that's some talent right there. It takes talent, hard work, and it takes smarts. So anybody that's prepared to say little Kim is bankrupt or something, or she's broke, or she ain't got no money, you stupid. You stupid. I'm going to let you know that right now. Because if you're in the game longer than you haven't been, you know what I'm saying, in your lifetime, you did something damn right. So you know what I'm saying? Shout out to her anyways. This is a moment about her. We ain't finna make this shit about Mano. But, um, yeah, I just want to call him out on that. That was very corny thing to run up. And people booed his ass, too, as they should have. Um, Security should have taken his ass to the side. Um, I don't think he should have got beat the fuck up. I know there were some people saying he should have got beat the fuck up. Uh, well, actually, you know what I'm saying? After all the touching up on her, yeah, he should have got pulled to the side and maybe roughed up just a little bit. Because, like, you can honestly tell she was uncomfortable. With the whole exchange between him, him whispering all up in her ear and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was corny, man. No, you taking the L for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nonetheless, congratulations to little Kim. Um, it, it is, and she's right. It is nice to see your talents um, appreciated. You know what I'm saying? It's nice to see that people respect you. So, keep up the good work, Kim. Keep up the charity work. And, um... 
I be well, I be watching for your next for the next single. I seen the spicy video. It's nice. I liked it. It's a little conflicting. I can't really watch it cause fabulous the whole thing with him and Emily. You know what I'm saying? But I I, I watched what I could watch. So um, shout out to her for that. She did that thing on the spicy video. I loved all the looks that she had in it. And um, I'll be watching out for her next project. And yeah, uh, at the end of the day, shout out to Lil' Kim. Um, that's a big achievement, a big accomplishment. When you're an icon, nobody even, nobody, not even your imitator can take take away from what you've done in your career. And Kent Kim is an icon all around the board. So with that being said, I will catch y'all on the next podcast. Bye.